Good morning, dear students. Hope all of you are fine and all of you are doing well. So let's begin our today's class. So today we are going to learn a new chapter, that is chapter two, my family. So dear children, all of us will live in a family, isn't it? Along with our father, mother, brother, sister, grandparents, and all. Okay. So let's read the chapter. We usually live with our families. They are the people we know, we have known uh, all our lives. Since we all are related to each other, they are also called our relatives. So we know each other and all the family members we live together and they are also known as our relatives. All our relatives may or may not live with us, but together they all make up our family. So all of all the family members may not be live together. For example, maybe your uncle and aunt they're staying outside, okay? But they are also your family members, isn't it? Okay. Remember, we do not usually call the people in our family by their names. We call them according to their relation to us. For example, you have uncle and aunt at home, so we never call them by their name, isn't it? You used to call them according to their, uh, your relation with them, okay? We call them according to their relations to us, okay? In most families, the mother and father take care of their children. They are called parents. So who are called parents? Mother and father who used to take care of the children, they are called parents. Children of the same parents are called siblings. For example, you and your brother or you and your sister, you are siblings. Okay. Siblings are brothers and sisters, as I said before. Our parents, father and mother, are our grandparents. Our parents, father and mother, are our grandparents. Like your father or your mother's father, they are also called, they are called our grandparents. Our mother's parents are our maternal grandparents and our father's parents are our paternal grandparents. So your mother, our mother's mother or mother's father, they are called as maternal grandparents and like your father's father, father's mother, they are called paternal grandparents for example uh, your uncle and aunt from your mother's side they will call your maternal uncle and uncle and aunt for your father's side they are called paternal uh, paternal uncle so do you understand maternal grandparents and paternal grandparents what is maternal and what is paternal often our parents have siblings of their own they are our aunts and uncle the sister of your mother and father are called aunt. The brother of your mother and father are called uncle. So, same as um, your mother's, uh, um, like uncle and aunt from your mother's side, they are called aunt. Or uncle uh, from your father's side or mother's side, they are called uncle. Like your father's brother or mother's brother, both are called uncle. And your uh, mother's sister or father's sister, both are called aunt. The children of your uncle and aunt are your cousins. Like the brothers and sister from your uncle and aunt, they are called your cousins. So do you understand like what is parents, father and mother who take care of the children? They are called our parents. And siblings, siblings is the brother and sisters of the same parents. Then maternal grandparents and paternal grandparents. Then uncle and aunt and cousin. So these all are our family members and these are all are comes under our relations or they are our relatives. Okay. For example, Rita and Sumit went to visit their father's brother, Rohit Bakshi. What do you think they call him? Yes, that's right. He is their uncle. Okay. You have already read about joint and nuclear families in class 2. You have learned about what is joint family and which is nuclear family. In a joint family, family. Okay. parents, children, grandparents, uncle, aunt and cousins live together. 
such families are common in villages so in a joint family all the family members live together for example gran grandfather grandmother uncle aunt cousin everyone such families are common in villages we can see nowadays um, joint families we used to see in villages okay where people live together in a large house because joint family lots of people number of more number of people so definitely they need a large house to stay family members who work together in a common business usually live in a joint family and uh, those who have common business them uh, they usually have the joint family and nuclear families which consist of only parents and their children are more common in towns and cities nuclear family means the small family where only uh, father mother and their children they live together and most of the like nuclear families you can see in the towns and cities so dear children today we have learned about parents and about sibling what is uh, maternal grandparents paternal grandparents uncle aunt cousins and we have also learned about joint family and nuclear families okay so you just go to this page number 15 and 16 at home okay that's all for today stay home stay safe thank you